Brandon, this side. Coming around the bow. Coming up that way, Hope. Today is the eight year anniversary of the tagging of Mary Lee. Named her Mary Lee after my mom because I thought it was gonna be the last shark we'd ever sample and tag. We'd lost our primary funding source and just took the last bit of dough we had to go up there and try to help out, you know, the Northeast and get some modern tagging equipment on these white sharks. Big, 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 mature female shark. That was the only time I've ever left the ship and taken a photograph of it. I thought it was the last time I was ever going to see the ship. And then Mary Lee proceeded to swim down the eastern seaboard, and she poked her nose in all sorts of different estuaries and bays and river mouths. Mary Lee saved O-Search. So many people fell in love with her that we were able to get enough awareness around our work and people wanted to help. And I think without Mary Lee, we, we wouldn't be here today. Mary Lee's tracks led us to the north coast of Florida and the south coast of Georgia. We followed her essentially and went down and started doing work um, off of the Jacksonville area and lo and behold, we got a shark named Lydia. And Lydia was for me a personal major journey step because Lydia was the first great white shark that I had actually been able to touch alive and seen alive. I'd seen some dead, but never alive and certainly able to study. When she swam off, it was, it was very emotional for me, it really was. We saw that she made a uh, transition that was very different from Mary Lee, that she bypassed Cape Cod and came to Nova Scotia. So Mary Lee, she led us down to the southeastern United States. We had some success with Lydia. We started to see that animals were spending time there overwintering. That was the beginning of all of these expeditions off the southeastern United States, which then led to sharks like Hilton, which brought us to Nova Scotia. So the fascinating part of this journey is that we kind of started with a blank slate. We knew a little bit about the distribution of white sharks on the North Atlantic coast. And as we've tagged one animal after another, each one has taken us to interesting places that we followed up on. And that's the power of having this mobile team because we have the capacity to follow them and study them in the different parts of their migration, which lead to new questions and new answers. And that's how you put this whole puzzle together. I mean, Mary Lee in her own way was, was our pioneer. She was, she was the one that uh, with, with her satellite tag on her dorsal fin was telling us, hey guys, this is where you need to go to protect me and my progeny. These are the places that I, that I spend my life as a big adult female white shark. And if you go to these places, you're gonna find more information, you're gonna see where the young uh, grow up, and you're gonna see where perhaps other parts of the population go, places like Atlantic Canada. So she was the pioneer that just opened up the science for us that has allowed us to now be in Nova Scotia in 2020.